here at MIT. Got skills, I'm a champion of D&D. MC Escher, that's my favorite MC. Keep your 40 out. Welcome to MIT. I'm Katie. And this is Katrina. And we're part of Biodiesel at MIT. Welcome to MIT. A project to put a biodiesel processor and fueling station on campus that is solar powered. In our video today, we're going to show you some of the details of how this project will be implemented and the ways which will help our campus become more sustainable. Our first stop is the solar panels on top of the student center. MIT has three such facilities on campus. These facilities produce over 20,000 kilowatt hours of power per year proving that even though Boston is in the chilly northeast, there's enough solar power available to fuel a biodiesel fueling station. They see me mowing my front lawn. I know they're all thinking I'm so wide and This is the MIT Tech Shuttle. It's one of two diesel powered shuttles on campus and many other gasoline powered shuttles. It takes oh students God. all over the campus and into Boston. Oh, MIT shuttles use over a thousand gallons of each of diesel fuel per year. It means that if you use B20, the 20 percent blend, you could use over 200 gallons a year of biodiesel in each tank. MIT students have to fuel up somewhere, and while there's plenty of healthy options available at our dining halls, we can also find lots of waste vegetables. Let's go have a look at what. We MIT's campus dining produces about a thousand gallons of vegetable oil a year. Here's the tank where we store the oil. Let's see if we can see any inside. Oh man, it's almost full. We could collect some of it and put it in through our processor right now. know what biodiesel is. Kind of. So essentially, say fried is going to smell like Doritos. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so have you heard of biodiesel? Yeah. What is it? It's where you use a diesel engine, you run the diesel cycle with biological fuels. Ooh, MIT students are smart. Oh yeah, that'd be right. But I probably won't buy more fries. 